This is Sky News. Businesswoman, fashionista, and even video game superstar, Kim Kardashian West has hit Oz. I think definitely we keep our Aussie girls in mind when we're rolling out our Australian collection, for sure. First, a fashion tip from the guru herself. Shapewear. <laughs> the Wolverine stars along with Avatar Sigourney Weaver and Slumdog Millionaire's Dev Patel. I think it's a very moving like, story. Apart from violent scenes and stomach-turning moments, The Mule has us excited about the future of Australian film. You've chosen to launch the film on a digital platform. What are the benefits of this? We'll find out. I think enabling people to access the film straight away uh, in whichever way they want, that's the main benefit. The Mule brings new meaning to the term gut-wrenching suspense, but Samson and Weaving have a better way of summing it up. Consumption, presumption and... Bullshit. Uh, <laughs> bullshit, yeah. Laura Morelli, Sky News Showbiz. And if you think the cast couldn't get better, it gets Zef's side. Artists Yolandi Viza and Ninja from South African rap band Deant Wood have landed themselves a spot in the film. We're here with Jamie Lawson and he's about to play his hot new single, Wasn't Expecting That. We're at the Sydney Royal Easter Show and today we've met some of Australia's most famous horses. I'm here with Rebel and the Horse Master Adam. Tell us a bit more about this Horse Master. What do you do? A horse master is a bit of a weird term. It just means that you're the lead trainer uh, for any horse job that you go on. And it's not just the horse master that can control the furry film star. From the London Tower to San Fran's IMAX and now Sydney's historic opera house. We've been warned, Australia, winter is coming. Game of Thrones Season 5 is set to launch on Monday, a special premiere right here at the Sydney Opera House with a very fiery guest. With the two-part miniseries Deadline Gallipoli set to launch, who better to talk to than Ewan Leslie and Joel Jackson about their roles as Keith Murdoch and Charles Bean. I went to the library for the first time since high school <laughs> and basically got as many books as I possibly could on World War II. How are you able to keep such an old story fresh whilst also telling it from a new perspective? Try to make it a story about journalists telling the truth. The Afro Music Awards are back and bigger than ever. People who really who bear their souls and, and, and create music and write songs. At the end of the day, none of this industry, no one in this room would have a job if it wasn't for a song in the first place. It feels nice to be nominated and just to be amongst um, like-minded people that love writing music. From winning a Grammy for his work with Eminem to collaborating with Daniel Johns, M Phases is a rising star in the hip-hop industry and he shared his tip for upcoming artists. The best thing is to stick with an idea and run with it. That's, that's what I find works. And speaking of the future, anyone else you see that you're willing to work with or looking forward to work with? Anyone. Whoever wants to go. I'm Laura Morelli and you're watching Sky News Showbiz.